As many of you know, last week, Bobble Bar had a major sale, their stock up sale. You could save up to 30% and I went a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I hauled and a few pieces that were sent to me over the last month or so because I am really digging all these accessories and I wanna share them with you. Now, if you like the look that I'm wearing, I filmed a tutorial on how I did this and I will put that link around here in one of those pop-up cards. I'll also list it in the description box. And two more things. I don't remember the names of all of these things, so I will list them in order of their appearance in here in the description box. And I'll also do some close-ups. And lastly, stay tuned to the end of the video for a little announcement. Okay, let's get on with the haul. Let's start with a piece that was sent to me, and I've been wearing this to death. This is like my new summer favorite, although it's not quite summer. This no idea what this is called. I just love the reds and the oranges and this neon yellow. I've been pairing this mostly with a white v-neck t-shirt. I just, I love how it looks. It elevates a simple white Target t-shirt into something pretty cool and edgy and I'm really digging this. Love it. It's not heavy either. It looks like it would be heavy. It's not heavy at all. Next are these really funky, like they look like a slice of a geode with a, um, with another geode on top. I wore these in a vlog recently when I went to lunch with a friend of mine. This is what they look like if I were to hold them up to you. Here's the cool thing. These are some of the coolest earrings I own. I just think they look really cool and edgy. The bad news is they're kind of heavy. You can get a good two, three hours wear out of them and then you start to feel like an extra in a National Geographic magazine. Like, so um, these are sort of like a statement piece that you can wear for a, a one event and then you should probably take them off. But they're really, they're really, really neat. I just wish they were lighter. Next we have, I believe this is the Neptune collar. I, there's something just, I, there's something about turquoise in the summer that I just love. So these are turquoise beads along the necklace and then the collar part is made up of like periwinkle and iridescent stones. And again, it looks really beautiful against, um, like a white t-shirt. I think this would look really nice, this kind of um, collar necklace with the off the shoulder tops that are really on trend for this season, which reminds me I need to go pick a couple up because I really like showing off the shoulders, but maybe not, you know, like a crop top or anything like that. It's a, it's a nice way for a mature person to show some skin, but let's focus on the jewelry. It's just so pretty and sparkly, but kind of not crazy over the top. So I'm really enjoying that. Now onto the haul. Okay, I've been wanting these forever. These are called Solange Drops, I believe. And these are just crazy earrings. I mean, these are so far out of my comfort zone. But can we just take a moment to appreciate the pom-poms? These are so big, yet so lightweight. There's nothing to these. It's basically a gold, is it a rhombus? It's sort of a kite shape. And then it's wrapped with different colored thread and then it has these navy pom-poms. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking cool. These are going, I just, I can't wait to wear these. These will go with just about anything. Love them. I was on the wait list for these, so when I saw these came back up, I had to grab them. These are, I think they're celestial drops, and they're basically starburst dangly earrings in gold. And I just think they go with so many things, and I love a dangly earring with long hair. Dangling is nice, so I just think these are so pretty. One of my favorite colors is like a periwinkle kind of shade and I'm still kicking myself that I didn't jump on that Kendra Scott collection in the winter when she released all those pale blue um, stones. But this kind of reminded me of that. These are the Cressida drops and these feel, they're not totally lightweight but they're not like the, uh, they're not like these bad boys. These are definitely wearable and it's just a really interesting shape. And again, I'm, you know, white is very much on trend and these pastel kind of colors I feel go really nicely with the, uh, with the white trend. One more necklace to show you. I love, if you haven't noticed, I really love the Druzy stone effect. I'm wearing Druzy earrings right now actually from Bobble Bar. I have some from Kendra Scott as well. I saw this and I gotta tell you, the website doesn't do it justice. I thought this was a flat kind of Druzy stone. This thing is thick. Look how thick that is. And it's edged in gold. This is like a heavy duty, serious bad boy necklace. And this blue is beautiful. It's gorgeous. And it dangles to about just below here, just below the boobs. 
Although you can adjust, I have it on its longest. You can adjust it and make it, you know, as short as you'd like, depending on where you like to wear your necklaces. I am a larger busted girl, so I like it, usually when I'm wearing a long necklace, I like the pendant to hang below, either above or below. There's like a no man's land that I do not want my necklaces to lie in. Anyway, this thing is cool. I believe it comes in other colors. And I think these kind of long pendant necklaces look great with long maxi dresses, sundresses. It kind of elongates the body and actually gives, it, it slims it because it gives the, the eye somewhere to draw down to. Hope I'm explaining that right. Now we get to the more sedate earring collection. I don't remember, I think these are called hooping earrings. I'm into hoops again, but I didn't want the classic just hoop earrings. So these are tiny little circles and they dangle the other way. And I just, I think they look good with a lot of the larger big statement necklaces. You still wanna wear earrings, but you don't wanna wear a big statement earring and a big statement necklace. It's just, it's a lot. So I like these simple gold circles that dangle just a little bit. I think they're a great everyday kind of earring. And to go with that, these are similar. They're again, hoops, but, and they are covered in tiny, tiny little pave stones. And it's very delicate, but it doesn't dangle. It just goes up right against the ear. And I think it's really elegant and it's really pretty. And it would look great with a lot of the pieces, necklaces I have that also have some pave or sparkle in them. It's just a nice way to set that off. And then I picked up a few studs. I don't know what these are called. These are really cool. They are, again, like a raw-ish kind of crystal, baby pink, um, almost white. And what I love about them is you can wear them either way. The backing actually has part of the earring on it, so it looks like it's going through your earlobe. So it's a little classic pretty crystal when you look at it head on, but when you look at it closely, it looks like I'm wearing a giant stud through my earlobe. It's, it's a dichotomy. And then lastly, I have this set of three studs. They're all druzy stone, uh, kind of the raw crystal cut, and uh, you have a kind of a light aqua blue, you have a navy blue, and you have a kind of a dark gray color there. So again, all very lovely, and um, like I would wear the light little tiny aqua ones with this uh, necklace because it matches, but um, you know, it's not gonna compete with all the sparkle going on here. Oh, and one last thing, probably shouldn't wear it like this. Here it is on my hand. I'll give you a close up. Uh, I did order this ring. This was not the ring that I had as my first choice, although I really, really love it. I really wanted um, another ring that had like the Druzy stones, but they were sold out. I'm hoping they restock and I'm going to put that in my shopping cart as soon as I see it back on the website. Um, I love bobble bar rings. You know how much I, I have like seven of the Mason rings. My favorite uh, lately has been the Star Shooter ring, and now I'm giving this one a go. So I still have all of them, and I like to interchange them, but I get bored, because um, I never change this hand, my wedding set here. So this is a fun one, and just for reference, I believe this is a size seven on my middle finger. Now on to the announcement. So you know that I have been a huge fan of Bobble Bar. I've bought a ton of pieces from them over the years, and I've been lucky enough to be sent some pieces from them as well. And a Bobble Bar reached out to me and asked if I wanted to have my own permanent private sale page on their website. So the only way you can get to it is if you know how to look for it. So I will link that in the description box below and I will probably have that as a permanent link in all of my description boxes. So what it means is this, Bobble Bar always has pieces on sale. I get to pick out my favorite 48 sale pieces and they will change over time. I'll swap stuff out as new stuff comes in or things get sold out. And my viewers will always get an additional 15% off whatever the sale price is if you use my code. I don't know what my code is, but I'll put it in the description box. So I'll put a link to that private sale, the Ms. Gold Girl Bubble Bar page and the code to that uh, in the description box if you're interested. Thanks for checking it out. So that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know which pieces you're thinking of picking up for yourself, or if you've recently shopped at Bobble Bar, tell me what favorite pieces you're wearing these days. As always, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I have a huge collection of bronzers, but I've decided to pare it down to the seven or so that I use on a rotating basis